I promise I'm going to shave tomorrow. Don't worry. In this video, though, I want to give you the secret key to success. If you're feeling stuck right now and you're wanting to become successful, well, first things first, you got to get clear on what success actually means to you. What does that mean to you? What does a perfect life look like for you? And I really strongly recommend doing the same exercise I did to get clear on my perfect life so that you can get clear in your perfect life as well. Really simple, fun exercise, actually. Um, I'll post a link in the description of this video for actually me walking you through this exercise. It's a vision workshop, getting clear on your vision. Because once you're clear on your vision, you know, what you're, you know what to go for. But most people have no idea what their vision is. And so they go through life and they're just like, it's like walking through a grocery store not knowing what to buy. It's very overwhelming. Or it's like looking at a bunch of numbers and not knowing like what, two digits to really look for. You know, if you're looking for, looking at a bunch of numbers on a screen and you're only looking for number 25, you probably find 25 somewhere. You're like, oh, there's 25. But in life, it's the same way. It's just instead of having two numbers, 25, you're going to have like a longer string of numbers. You might, you might you, you, out of all these random numbers you're seeing on a screen, you might be looking for numbers like 264 or something, or 2645. Whatever. It's like either way, you look and scanning, scanning, scanning. This all happens like subconsciously too, so you don't have to worry about it. But once you're clear on what those numbers are that you're looking for, you can find them. It's like that in life. So you've got to be clear on what your vision is. And that's, that's really that's the start of the secret is being clear on what the heck you actually want. That's really the, the start of it. And then from there, you you, you got you, it, it, you got to understand systems, right? Understand the systems. Like there's a solar system. And that kind of dictates every planet, how the solar system works. It kind of dictates every planet. And then you have an ecosystem, which dictates you know, what's happening in a certain part of Earth. Then you have your nervous system. Then you have your digestive system. Right? There's all these different systems. And systems, they all work in the same way. Think of your digestive system. Every system works like this, though. You have inputs, like the food you eat. Then you have the processes or processes, which is like your breakdown of everything, the simulation of all the nutrients. And then you have the output, which is poop and pee. And then from there, at the at the end of the output, you can, if you're aware, you can look at that output and you can get feedback. And then based on that feedback, you can determine what kind of input you put back in your system. So food, for example, let's say you eat some really crappy food, your body tries to break it down, it can't really do a good job, your digestion sucks, it comes out the other end as like diarrhea or constipation or something, and you're like, oh, you look at it, you're like, oh, that's not good, I don't like that, got negative feedback, I'm not going to do that again. So you cut out gluten, you cut out dairy, right, boom, you do it, do it again with all these foods until you arrive at a point where you're eating just fruits and vegetables, basically, because they're the best. <laughs> but that's how systems work, and the same thing goes with success in life and success in business, like you have inputs coming in. Your ears, your eyes, and most inputs, most people put in by default, are garbage. Absolutely garbage. All the default inputs out there are garbage. It's just like food. Absolute trash. It's all garbage. You have to just ignore it all and don't consume that trash. In the same way you wouldn't probably consume a big bag of Doritos because you know it's garbage for you. Don't watch the news. It's garbage for you. Don't watch some random ass YouTube video either. Don't scroll on Instagram and, and consume default input. Like that is just garbage. Treat what goes in your eyes and ears the same way you treat the food that goes in your body. I mean, if you eat like trash, maybe you're consuming trash as well. But if you're eating a really clean diet, you could still be consuming trash without knowing it through your uh, ears and eyes. So the way systems work is it's like garbage in, garbage out. If you put shit food in, you're going to have not a good experience on the on the on the other side you put great food in you're gonna have a great experience on the other side so with business it's like if you want to succeed okay know what you want and then only put in things that are going to help you get that result that's it and then let your subconscious mind take care of the rest right really make sure that you're whatever whatever you're putting in it's helping you get to that goal and part of what you're putting in is your own thoughts your own thoughts are part of the mix too so it comes down to how are you feeling? It really comes down to how are you feeling? If your inputs are making you feel really, really good and, and helping you uh, feel more in alignment with your goal being already achieved, then you're going to achieve that goal so much faster. But if your inputs 
are making you feel like you're getting further away from that goal. Like your inputs are making you feel like, oh, I can't do it. Or this is impossible. It's never going to work. I'm going to fail. And you're feeling like that. You're never going to achieve your goal. It's just not going to happen. You're not going to be in alignment with it. It's not how the universe works. It's not how the system works. So the system works. The way to achieve your goal, the system works is you know what you want. Then you feel like you already have it now by putting in the right inputs and thinking the right thoughts and feeling the, the, the feelings that give you the feeling that you've already accomplished that goal. And your goal will become accomplished so much faster than it would if you were just kind of not feeling really, really strongly about it and just kind of wishing and hoping. Uh, feel like you already have it now. Act as if you already have it now. Take in the inputs that are only going to help you reach that goal and no other inputs. All right. That's it for now. Peace out. Much love. Hope this video was helpful. I'll post the link in the description of this video to a vision workshop you can take. And uh, yeah, you'll find it very, very helpful, I'm sure. All right. Peace, peace. Bye for now. Ciao. Bye.